Thank you, Mr. President. My question is for the Minister for Jobs and Innovation, Senator Cash. Can the Minister update the Senate on how the Turnbull government's policies are helping the manufacturing sector in Australia? The Minister for Jobs and Innovation, Senator Cash. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Patterson for his question. Uh, as Senator Patterson and those on this side of the chamber would know, uh, when it comes to putting in place the right policy so that businesses are able to prosper and grow and create jobs for Australians, the Turnbull government is doing exactly that. Since September 2013, when the coalition was elected to office, the economy has now created in excess of 1 million jobs. In fact, we're almost at 1.1 million jobs. This doesn't happen by accident, Mr President. This happens because you put in place the right policies. As a result of our strong economic management, we've also seen an improvement in the number of manufacturing jobs in Australia. And today, members and senators would have seen pleasing reports that Holden Engineering is now increasing its workforce in Australia by 150 employees. So what we're going to see, Mr President, are Holden's engineers in Australia working on the next generation of autonomous electric and hydrogen vehicles that will then be sold on the global scale. And Senator Carr, I'm delighted to take your interjection Order, because Senator, Senator Carr. Carr under the former Labor government, under which you were minister, we Senator actually Carr. saw, Mr President, one in eight manufacturing jobs colleagues disappear in this country. Under Senator Kim Carr, we saw one in eight Senator manufacturing Carr. jobs disappear in this country. Senator Carr, you may well like to know, though, that in the last 12 months, under the Turnbull government, we have seen the number of manufacturing jobs in Australia increase, Mr President, increase by 47,700. Again, this doesn't happen by accident. It happens because you put in place the right policies which allow our businesses to prosper and grow, and when they prosper and grow, Mr President, they create Order, jobs. Senator Cash. Senator Patterson, a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. How has the government's policies, which lower costs for Australian businesses, impacted on these results? Senator Cash. Well, Mr President, again, when you create the right economic framework, and that obviously includes policies that are good for business, for example, lower taxes, less regulation, investing in infrastructure and signing on to free trade agreements, you see positive results across the entire economy. And under the Turnbull government's positive economic policies, we are seeing jobs created across the board. As I've said, almost 1.1 million jobs the economy have created since we came into office, and this includes in manufacturing. The manufacturing sector in Australia is transforming, and what we're doing as a government is putting in place those policies which are supporting our manufacturers to innovate, and through their innovation, they are able to create more jobs. For example, Mr. President, our industry-led growth centres initiatives, through this we're investing in sectors that we know have a competitive strength and opportunities to go global. And a number of businesses that were once just here in Australia Order. are Senator now Cash, operating time for the to answer a has global expired. order. Senator Patterson, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Is the minister aware of any risks to this important sector? Yes. Senator Cash. Well, the answer Order is yes, Mr left. President, and I can hear him from the other side. Senator Carr. Senators Senator Carr, Carr and Cameron. Senator Carr was responsible for Labor's anti-business and anti-manufacturing policies, which saw manufacturers in Australia leave this country. It is a fact, Mr President, that under the policies which Senator Carr presided over, one in eight manufacturing jobs in Australia Order. disappeared. Order, Senator Cash. Time for the answer has expired.